please die a little bit faster, big boy. Death to you? Till death do us part? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, hey! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 17. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys, absolutely a favorite fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Today we return, and today, well, luckily enough, it appears that the bedroll is still where it should be. However, it also appears that, remember that quest that we got? I think the fact that we logged out and logged back in may or may not have glitched it because it says clear the area uh zero meters from here also i just thought i got locked into my own freaking house but we return oh my god i thought that was a bear for a second we return today uh, boys and girls ladies and gentlemen like i was saying hope you guys have a fantastic day today we are plotting i actually want to go through and supposedly you guys were saying that i was actually missing some secret compartments over in places such as the pawn shop and the shotgun messiah i was also hoping to go and clear out that area that it's telling us to go clear out but that's not happening at the moment so a little something we gotta kind of keep in mind i suppose another thing i want to do is definitely collect up some more cloth because then what we can do is craft up those bandages to bring our max health back to where it should be but like i'm saying we're gonna be looting up a couple of these areas looking for that loot that i may or may not have missed although according to y'all i missed it and i totally trust y'all's judgment on this one so looking forward to that and of course like i was saying we do need to make we got to start building up some base stuff, man, because uh, we're already in the middle of day five. As we know, the day seven night will contain a very powerful horde that is going to come for us. And, uh, well, long story short, try to kill us. So, yeah, we got to try and be a little bit more prepared for that than kind of the shape that we are in as of right now. And I'm just trying to figure out where these secret compartments my friends were talking about may or may not be and hold on can i like oh okay i don't even know how i got past that but i did and that's what i like i'm trying to look like you guys were saying that supposedly i should be looking oh baby oh no <laughs> this is where the goods are this is the secret compartment that i was promised and oh i do not have an axe or means to break into this do i well i do have a ranch and this only does five damage at a time, but dude, oh my god, so much, oh yeah. That right there, guys, is a beautiful secret stash. I don't know how we missed that, but we did, so let's try and not miss that this time around. First things first, let's actually, oh, hello, concrete barrier. Oh, hello, oh, I don't even know what just happened. Uh, how do I get out of this? Hello, game. Oh, okay, we're out. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed to touch the concrete barrier. So there's just a concrete barrier chilling there, and I think I'm locked in. Okay, it was not, uh, not how I was expecting this to go down. I think I know a way to get out of here, though. I guess we'll try a different way out of here, because this doesn't appear to be the way. This is not the way, and we do not know the way. <laughs> oh, old memes, baby. Old memes. All right, there we go. Let's actually properly parkour out of there, and let's go and get the necessary materials that we need to get a stone axe crafted up so we can actually gather that secret loot. But then, like I was saying, definitely want to go and do some- Oh, snake! Snake, 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 snake! Not trying to deal with that. We got 25 health, like I'm saying. We're trying to take things slow at the moment. I know we need some cloth to craft the bandages. I also don't see any cotton plants, and I think we need to, like, find clothes otherwise or something like that. I get it. I'm hungry. I'm working on a game. It's a work in progress, but that is pretty much the game plan. And I, I feel like that might be a clothing store, in which case I kind of want to check. No, that's a furniture store, I think. I mean, that might have clothes, too. Like, for all I know. Can I not get this crafted up? No. We gotta punch some grass. And after this grass is punched and one more rock picked up... We got a stone axe in our possession. Let's go and see what the secret shot. Jesus, that snake is still on us. And then we can go and see what that secret shotgun rain compartment has in, not shotgun rain, shotgun messiah compartment has in store for us. Still hearing spooky noises. As long as we don't get hit though, I'm all cool with it. You can make all the noises that you want, game. Now then, let's go and parkour out of here as well. And let's go and get that good stuff. But yeah, we're going to be trying to get some uh, materials so we can actually do a little bit of base building. We got to reinforce our base, hopefully get different types of spike traps and whatnot down. Ooh, 
Iron spikes, that's new. We're trying to get different types of defenses down to protect the place we're gonna call home in preparation for that day seven night time, which will have many horrors, mainly of the zombie variety and in overwhelming numbers. So we gotta build up a safe place, we gotta build up a protected place, and we gotta get more stuff like this. Oh my God. We need to go make a trip to that trader. And we need to sell a lot of stuff because Jesus, Louisus, we are getting redonkulous. Oh, an earth. Oh, baby. And you know what we just got? Besides, I think we have every gun in the pos in our game, like in the game. We also got this ergonomic grip. And check it out. I, I do believe that we should be able to uh, toss this on. How do I use this, though? Decreases stamina usage by 20. Oh, this goes on a melee weapon, does it? How do I put on melee weapon? What do I put you upon? It just says ergonomic grip. It doesn't tell me what type of weapon I gotta put it on. Uh, am I not in my right inventory screen? Is this how not how I mod things? I thought for sure we go to this and then like we're allowed to toss stuff. Maybe we need to like use some kind of workbench or something. If you guys know where I'm derping out, please let me know. Because we just got our very first weapon mod, which is uh, not gonna lie. Very freaking dope. Definitely on the doper side of things. We are over encumbered. That part is not so dope. That part is kind of anti-dope. I guess if we're looking for a uh, term for it. And oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not even fair, boys. Let's go and see what the rest of these shipping crates got in store for us as well, though. Since they should also be storing things. And if you guys are new here, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell. Hit to stay up to date with the seven days to die alpha sevens. Oh my god. God, dude, this is DC st amazing. Oh my God, we could sell that for a decent penny. We got silver nuggets, we got gold nuggets, and we still got plenty of hidden secret stashes to go. Thank you guys for pointing out that I somehow missed this. I don't know how. I think I started like looking through the roof section and just kind of didn't see anything before I got around to this corner and I'm like, ah, I guess there's nothing up here goes to show what I know. Now on the slightly spookier side of things, I am hearing that snake. I'm trying to be a little bit cautious of that. Actually sounds like we're bringing just in general a lot of heat our way, so a little bit spooked by that. Definitely want to keep our eyes peeled for any slippery snakes up here in the roof. I'll also go and explore the roof a little bit more because I feel like we might very well be missing something and hopefully we don't get cornered by that snake because that's actually a real worry now that I brought it up and hey! Another hidden stash and oh nilly. Raw diamonds, more gold nuggets, more silver. I guess I could pick up the paper, but we are walking out of here rich, lads and lasses. This is a great start to what will hopefully be a very great day. Another hidden stash. Oh my god. And we got some major weapon upgrades, and then we gotta go and sell some of this stuff for sure, for sure, because we're getting a lot of guns, and uh, I don't need this many guns in my life. I, I don't think anyone does. This is just an absurd amount. Maybe if this was multiplayer and I wanted to, like, you know, bribe someone, I'd be like, hey, I got guns for you. Just don't shoot me. You dig? I'm just trying to make sure that we didn't miss. Oh, hello. We got that guy over there. Let's not fall down and have to deal with him. Let's fall down and get the hell out of dodge. And uh, shall we look to the other one? I'm scared about that snake, man. I got, listen, I got shotgun raid ready to go. If this snake tries to pull a fast one on us, I'm gonna pull an even faster one on it first. Because I have no idea where this snake is. Is it trying to like knock down the door? I think it is actually. Hello, sleepery snake. Oh, oh, shotgun rain to you. Are you dead? It looks pretty dead. Okay, beautiful. Uh, I will harvest you. Can I harvest snake? Give me some snake meat. Uh, it wasn't snake meat, but we got some kind of meat. I will take that to the bank, and let's go and make that bank deposit right about now, too. Because shooting off that gun is probably going to be bringing some decent heat this way. So might as well clear out for a second. Listen, I'm sorry. I wasn't going to let that snake live. If you guys haven't noticed, my true enemies in this game aren't the zombies. It's the wildlife. I'm like, I think I've died ten times as much to wolves vultures, dogs, you name it. I think I died to zombies like once. On purpose. I mean, on accident, like, when I didn't mean to die. As you guys know, last episode we suffered a horrific glitch where our bedroll disappeared. And I didn't know that it disappeared, so I'm like, oh, let me be slightly derpy here. There's no repercussions. 
<laughs> and that's when I found out that there were indeed repercussions. And didn't go well for me. Did not go well for me. Now let's make our way into here. I kind of want to scrap. I think I got some clothes on too. I could try scrapping those and trying to get some cloth here. Because I do want to bring that max health up, man. It is annoying being at this. Also annoying being at the stamina. There's a lot of like minor annoying things. Whoop, let's not fall. Oh, that was a close one. That was a close one. And let's see what we can drop off over here. For now, I'll be dropping off these valuables as well. Anything that we don't need. Hunting rifle. You do look nice, but this marksman rifle it actually does a little bit less damage, so never mind. I kind of want to keep this hunting rifle because I'm not really spamming the marksman rifle anywhere. Hopefully, we can get that in level 2 version. We got even more freaking frag rockets. Oh, we're going to be making a nice penny off that one day. We got an even better compound bow. Very nice, very nice. We got some pistol, although we already have the SMG to shoot off our bullets. Although the pistol does shoot, or it does do more damage than the SMG. Yeah, I'll just leave the SMG. Who am I kidding? You know, we need something to use if the going gets rough and nothing better than spraying and praying a little bit. Um, and then on top of that, we can put that compound bow away and can I put ammo away? Can I, why wasn't that ammo stacked? What shenanigans is this? Um, yeah, though, I can't, I don't really know, like, if I can put any of this other stuff away, really. I'll try to put some of it away and see what stacks. If it does, yay. If it doesn't, yay. Ooh, scrap that. Yeah, we gotta scrap all them extra clothes. Because I am trying to get some cloth up in here. And to craft up some bandages so we could actually, uh, you know, bring that max health up. Because it's not fun being at the max health we're at. Definitely have done funner things in my life. Bicycle handlebars, you looking nice and party. The military helmet, I ain't gonna be scrapping you. That, that thing's got some potential behind it. And uh, you, I think I want to repair... I don't know what I need exactly to repair that. I kind of want to get a second chest going here, too, since that first one kind of filled up. Let's make sure we're kind of trying to stay on top of our looting situation here. In no better way than by tossing that right over there. And let's toss those wood frames back where we need them. Let's put a couple of these things that we don't necessarily need away for the time being. That will be the basis of some really good food going down the line, too. Here we got all the different ammos we're using. And yeah, we'll be fine from there. I think our dude's getting hungry, so why don't we try and feed him? Try and be a good human. Actually, get some food up in here. Ah, this stuff should be healing our health too. Like it's healing our max stamina, which is good. But why don't we? Why don't we get those bandages going now? We should be able to craft up what three of them. That will raise our max health up by thirty and bring us to a semi-respectable fifty-five, I believe. So let's go and let's go to Bandage City. Let's use that up. Does that instantly raise it or slowly? Okay, it does like slowly. So we're gonna wait a sec before we use the next ones just to kind of play it safe on that front. And then I'm also going to put those away. And let's head on over to Secret Stash number two. Actually, I kind of wanna hold on. I think that's the location we're gonna try to clear out. I think that's where the quest was taking us before. Because it appears I have glitched out this quest. So hopefully we could unglitch it, because it's not going to be good business having that thing glitched, because that was like the first quest we went on, and it's going to suck if it's not working. Um, how do I repair you? I think I just got to find some stone. So I'll just try to pick some of those up as we go. Hello? Okay, there we go. I was like, I'm staring at the stone. You want to get in my inventory there? And if you guys are enjoying the series, definitely let me know about hitting that like button and saying so in that comment section down below. Not to mention more you in that comment section. Let me know, uh, per snaps, what you guys might want to see us do, which direction you might want to see us take in this wonderful game, because that's what I love about making the series on YouTube, is that it's not just me playing the game. We're playing it together. We're experiencing it together. And I want to give you guys the opportunity to actually make some decisions. So like I'm saying, I do want to take yo's guys' feedback it's a heart so let me know in that comment section you know what you guys would like to see me do any and all that type of jazz especially given the fact we are in alpha 17 there's a whole ton of newness to go through that we are trying into experience and overall it's just a dope time and definitely that like button because like i'm saying it's a great way of letting me know you're enjoying and i'm a man of the people and if a series is being enjoyed a series is going to uh, be uploaded even more and that is an interesting building over there to say the least I am intrigued, but I'm a little bit more intrigued by chicken soup. Oh, yeah, call me Chef Boy RD, boy. Let's go and get some of this up in our belly. Bring up to the max all that we got, and then I'm gonna eat some freaking cat food, because I'm feeling like cat food. Please don't give me food poisoning. There's like a 10% shot at it. Meow. 
There we go. You know why? The meow protected us. It gave us immunity. When in doubt, meow it out. That is right. That's that's the motto that I'm pretty sure like the US military uses. All right. Like it's a very well-known motto. And this is a very cool looking like little area here. That guy sounds like he's having a fun time. I think he just came out of jail apparently. I'm hearing some weird noises though. So just in case, uh, well, the wolf gang decides to start coming up on us and taking us out yet again. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be prepared to poop on them. Yeah. Yeah, though, this quest, if it's a glitch, is actually going to be really, really bad. But we're gonna try. This is the area that the quest was taking us to before. We're gonna do our best to clear this bad boy out and get ourselves some EXP along the way. Thank you for going down without a struggle. Appreciate it, bae. Um, but it doesn't look like this is fixing the problem, which is a wee bit of a bummer. I'm not gonna lie. We just gotta... Woo! What's that? No Woo! Nope, 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 nope. I remember what happened last time I fought a zombie boar. Oh, but there's two of them! Nope, 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 nope. Yo, what, mate? Yo, what, mate? Why is there two ginormous zombie boars? Why? Hello? Schmello? Am I about to fight? I... I don't know. I'll, I'll let the zombies come to us first. We'll deal with them, and then uh, I might try to climb on top of that tower for uh, safety. And then maybe I'll start shooting the boars. This time I can harvest them. Ooh, shiny. I like that. All right, let's get you repaired as well. Got to make sure we get that going. Let's go and get some big old... No, 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 no. Big old hits. No. Ow. God dang it. Uh, hopefully I didn't bring down the max health. That's all that I care about. As long as our max health isn't affected... Like, feel free to wail on me. As long as I don't die, and my max health ain't going down, I'm a happy camper. As happy as can be. Now then, let's go and get some chicken ration up in this belly. Get that health back. Chicken ration part two. And uh, that's going to bring our stamina up really high as well. So that will hopefully give us the ability to swing better, better, better for some big old hits. Oh, no. Let's just knock it. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, my God. I'm about to get strike three at this rate. This is not looking good. Oh, that guy's flopping around like a fish. Well, guess what? I'm an expert fisherman, lads. <laughs> Ooh. What was that? Painkillers, I believe. Oh. Damage mitigation and health. It doesn't increase our max health, though. A little bit of a bummer on that part. There we go. And let's try to take out the last of the zombies. Make sure that no one's on our back. Always got to watch that out. Don't want to get sneak attacked. Whoop. Don't want to get sneak attacked. Whoop. Oh, that was just you making that noise. That doesn't sound like a very healthy noise. You should probably get that checked out. You might be a zombie for all I know there, Mr. Businessman. And we got two skill points to be calling our own as well. Can I please hit that pretty little face of yours? Yes, I can. Let me just hit you while you down. Make our lives a bit easier. Ooh! We just got a revolver too, boys! Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Well, this has been a pleasant surprise of an episode, to say the least. A 44 Magnum. Shiny, to say the least. Dude, I don't know what is wrong with loot in Alpha 17, but I'm not complaining. It is treating us more than right. What happened to the ginormous zombie boars that were literally within this base like 20 seconds ago? Hello, Mr. Gigantic Zombie Boar. It is me, Papa Star. Hello. How do you do? Oh, there we go. He's back. <laughs> Dude, these things are just so goofy. All right. This looks like a pretty safe spot. There's two of them. Literally. And oh my God. There's... Oh, oh, it's starting to move. It's starting to move. Nope. Abort. 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 I was trying to take out the Zambies first. I don't know if that's going to be realistic. And ah, as much as I'd love to clear this place out, guys... I don't know. I do want to take out the boars. First things first, like I was saying, I do want to take out... Jeez, there's so many of them. A lot of EXP, hopefully. If all goes well. Oh my God, even more coming from around the corner too. Well, no worries. I'm swinging on plenty of heads left and right. Plenty of baseball bat from where that came from. And we should be able to kill a lot of these guys because pretty much three headshots and we're pretty consistently killing these dudes. And this is going to be a huge EXP farm for us as well. Just look in that bottom right corner, how much EXP we're getting. Look right above our toolbar, our little hot bar, over where we got all of our weapons and stuff, and check out the fact that we're already almost halfway 
To the, oh, that could've been bad. To the very, oh, could've been worse. To the, oh my God, how am I not hitting this? To the very next level. Very nice. I know, I know. And killing dudes easy peasy like this is only gonna help the cause. Whoop, come on, die already. He's not dying, he's flopping though. Oh my God, he is flopping. All right, I think if we wander too far away, like this, like all the enemies respawn or something. We don't want that. We want them to stay spawned. And just want to deal with them one by one. And just make sure that the 50 foot zombie boars don't decide to run out of there. And oh my god, there's so many of them, dude. This is just a rid- Oh my god. I'm not using guns, though. I learned my lesson. I'm trying to keep it clean. Oh my god, dude. I feel like I'm playing The Walking Dead right now. Just trying to deal with this horde. Slowly but surely. Make sure no one's trying to at my back here. Oh my god. I think I think it's growing, dude. They're multiplying. They're like bunny wabbits. You want to die sometime soon here, sir? Please? I've been wailing on you guys collectively in the face quite a bit. You guys have some powerful faces. And I... That's not a good thing. At least not for me. I need your faces to be weak and brittle. Like cookie brittle. Or cookie crumble. Or like, uh, like, uh, crumbs. You know, if you want to be like a cookie that crumbles, I will take that as well. Because I kind of got to prepare for a double zombie boar boss. Not exactly the easiest of things to prepare for. But already, guys, check out that bar at the bottom. Another level should easily be ours any moment now. Actually, yeah, it is ours already. And we're only getting more EXP from where that came from. And it does look like the boars are still there. It doesn't look like more zombies spawned inside. So I think we are in business. Oh my God, dude. It's like, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, dead zombie. Ooh, dead zombie, you know? it's <laughs> exactly what it's feeling like. And all right, let's try and parkour a little bit up here. I feel like if we get over here, we should be relatively safe. I could be totally wrong, who knows? YOLO! Hello, big boy, how do you do? Oh man, oh man. Okay, he's down there, so that's the good news. Please die a little bit faster, big boy. Death to you, till death do us part. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, 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 Jack! Oh, oh. oh my god, dude, this thing is ridiculously fast. Okay, one zombie bore down. Uh, number two over there. Does that guy have legs? I, I actually can't tell if that one has legs. Uh, boop! Well, oh, now he, uh, he was just napping, dude. That dude was just taking a quick little nap. Uh, I got some shotgun rain for you, though, Mr. Boar. Plenty where that came from. Shotgun rain! He doesn't seem to care at all about shotgun rain. He does seem to like getting stuck, though. And I like the fact that he is stuck, because that makes my life a, a whole lot easier. Dude, like, look at the- Whoa! Markings on that guy's face. What in tarnation's going on? I don't know. But there are now two dead boars and probably a whole ton of zombies coming this way. So, oh, yeah, we already got one guy over here. This is just the one dude who didn't wake up when the rest of the zombies were swarming me. He's like, hey, what happened? I had a long night last night. Where'd everyone go? <laughs> and they're all just gone. Sorry. I murdered your friends, my friend. Now this, oh, baby, baby. Look at everything we getting from this. Not just are we getting EXP, we're getting, oh, that's the beautiful thing. This is kind of future proofing. Because remember guys, we needed to get some levels to, I think we need to hit level 20 to like learn a lot of very important recipes. So hitting up locations like this is actually a really smart idea. The fact that it's one hour till nighttime, however, I lost track of time. That is not, that's just bad. That's okay, we gotta try and get home pretty soon. Sounds like there's some zombies nearby too, so we're gonna harvest this boar. We're gonna see if there's anything to loot here, and then we have a very decent run home, so I don't know how that's gonna go, but look at all this that we're getting, and leather we can turn into bellows and other very useful things, so these boars are treating us very good. Dude, I got very spooked. This guy was like standing upright. I'm like, oh my god, is he back alive? No, I don't think he's back alive. Thankfully, although we do have those zombies uh, Swarming us up and around, but there's also a location we cleared out. It sucks we couldn't do it for the quest because that quest does appear to be completely glitched. But we still cleared out a very nice location. Got a couple of very nice kills. Almost at level 10 already. And we still got the second floor. Oh my god, there's another boar. Bro, are you Okay, I'm just I, listen, I don't I don't need a third boar. I'm I'm good. I'm good. Let's make our way home. <laughs> 
I'm evacuating the bejesus out of that place. We got 20 minutes to make it back home. This is not looking ideal. But hopefully if we keep on drinking, we could get that stamina up. And when we get home, we got some levels to apply as well. We're having a great time over here. We're getting some great things over here. Somehow we're not over encumbered. And we got 15. Okay, never mind. I had to open my mouth. Look at that. We're encumbered. It's literally just because I opened my mouth. But uh, yeah, this ain't looking the greatest for now. Let's continue drinking. Please give me the stamina I need, game. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Uh, we might we might die here, boys. I'm gonna be 100% honest. There's a lot of death that I'm forecasting right now. We still got like a couple of blocks to go to safety. And uh, well, we're definitely not in a safe location anymore. So we're gonna try to go about the sneaky deaky. We got some ammo. I probably used too much of this. I should have been saving a lot of this for the Day 7 Horde. Which is, I think, what I'm going to be doing from here on out. Still can't believe we got a revolver, though. But yeah, I'm going to try to stockpile this stuff instead. And then next time, we should be good. But like I'm saying, that was a good detour. We got some EXP, which we need. Very badly, actually. We got, actually, what was that a flaming barrel over there? Oh, is that that set? That's that settlement, right? Okay, I think that's like an old settlement that's overrun though, but still. Definitely could be worthwhile checking out. Still not seeing any tangos, or mangoes for that fact, on the horizon. A little bit of rain. A little bit of drizzle though. And oh, oh. I hear noises. Oh, I think they're up there. Listen, if, if I, I'm ready to book it. I got 83 stamina and I'm ready to use it. Oh, you know what we should do too? Let's get these wooden frames up over there in case the going gets bad. I'd rather run and build than stand and fight. Because listen, guys, ah, uh, we got to save these bullets. We got to prepare for that day seven. We only got two days left. We really got to do some harvesting. I think next episode, we're going to try to key in and harvest a lot more. I think that's the game plan. And then hopefully day seven, we could get some major base building. At least not uh, just some protection, something. <laughs> 360 no scope come at me come at me oh they're coming at me oh someone's throwing up nope 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 we're so close to home we may have lost them for now oh they're getting closer though okay oh man you can just see them coming out of the mist we gotta get home boys if we can just get up those stairs we are in safety because the zombies don't have the mad parkour skills necessary to fandangle their way into the place. Oh, man. I cannot see a dang thing right now, though. YOLO! Oh, oh. oh I, I fell. I fell very badly. Oh, no. Oh, no, baby. Oh, it just got too dark. It got... It definitely got too dark. That's the problem. Uh, uh... Oh, there's a... There's, there's a ladder. I'm climbing the ladder. To where? I don't know. Nobody knows. This might actually take me up to the second floor. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I climbed it to the top. I have negative clue where I am, but, uh, oh, whoop. Did we just finesse our way to the second floor? Oh my God. Well, that's a miracle and a half. <laughs> Completely with the jump up, but somehow we nail the climb back and uh, let's just lock ourselves away into safety. Hopefully the zombies never learn how to use that ladder and welcome home. Boys and girls, after quite the eventful night. It's actually going to be pretty nice, guys. Oh, man. Hopefully they're breaking stuff on the first floor. This is going to be nice. We should have a pretty nice vantage point to uh, shoot down on the horde as they come from this window. Hopefully we'll make some more defenses and the stuff will be coming up Millhouse. But no, that's not what I meant to hit. Why don't we go and explore what perks we can level up. Uh, this one... Yes, I think. Can I not buy that? Disabled by status effect. Oh, it's this thing. I have that for another 20 minutes. Bruh. And this for another 39. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not ideal. So we can't really apply any perks that well until that lightens up. Also, I hear a lot of zombies down below. So I guess we're going to need to be dealing with that as well. We, we got a ton of fun stuff to be dealing with, guys, but we also still got the gun store to check out. 
see the secret loot that that had, hopefully figure out how to unglitch this quest so we could actually finish it. Of course, Day 7 Horde, that's kind of the most immediate issue we got to worry about. Make sure that we can survive that rather well. We got the weapons. Hopefully, we can get some more ammo, build up some traps, build up the base, and then from there, I do think we're going to move out of this town. I kind of want to head over to where the trader is, which I believe to be... I'm, I think that's the trader right there, right? Yeah, I kind of want to move over to where the trader is. I feel like that's going to be decent, so then we could actually quest a lot more often, trade a lot more often, and do a lot of importante stuff like that. And then, of course, as we continue leveling up, we should be able to get those necessary, uh, whatchamacallit, crafting things that we need. For example, like the forge, the crucible, a lot of important recipes that we can then put down in our more permanent base. So that's kind of the blueprint, the game plan here heading forward. Near future, we just got to make sure to uh, fortify this place a little bit. Continue looting it up. Oh, the zombies all decide to stop. But uh, fortify this place up a little bit so we can survive. Day 7. Continue looting up. You can never stop looting enough, baby. And uh, other than that, yeah, if you guys have anything else that I might be missing, anything that you might want to see me do, uh, definitely let me know. But getting EXP, getting loot, preparing for Day 7, and then all beyond, because there's obviously still vehicles we could craft up. That's a big thing. I definitely want to get some vehicles, even just like a basic bike, something going, and then start building the true castle that will house our empire. But with that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hope this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.